A new Tampa Bay business story only hits newsstands today, and as always, Alexis Milner is here to tell us about some of the big stories. Good morning to you. Happy Friday. Good morning to you. Always good to see you. And you. You come with some interesting news. Uh, one local business is sort of refreshing itself. The Tampa uh, Theater has a new logo right. and a new brand, but a whole lot of work goes into this. It does, and we talk about rebranding, and, and brand is a big issue when we talk about social media. We all have our personal brand, and Tampa Theater is one of three organizations and companies that we profile as our centerpiece this week, talking about this whole notion of rebranding and it can happen when you have an outdated logo or a look or you had a situation where you want to change sort of consumers minds because the brand sort of resonates in your own head and it does it takes a lot of work and consultation to come up with a logo and a look and feel and a color scheme that isn't going to alienate people who are have an emotional connection to your brand folks that are interested in considering this have to take into account not only who they're working with in terms of having professional advice but also making really smart choices we sure that you'll do a follow-up later on and find out is it actually working absolutely all right Let's move on to bankrupt universal health care. It's back in the news again. Now some former company executives are being told to give back some of the money that they were paid last uh, year. It's a sad story. I mean, universal health went bankrupt in February. It was a one, one point a one point five billion dollar uh, insurer where they had 800 people that work there. Uh, now the a court appointed receiver is asking for some of the top executives to give back some of their compensation. The thinking is that these folks should have known about a potential insolvency, knew that there was financial issues got paid anyway and now the receiver who's appointed to try and re regain or recoup some of the assets all told among the ones that we saw at least a quarter million dollars or more yeah Okay, this week you held the annual Healthcare Heroes Awards, honoring outstanding healthcare professionals. Who did you recognize? It's an amazing event. You know, this is one of, we've been doing this for many, many years, and healthcare practitioners, by and large, are so focused on what they're doing that they don't, you know, the, the recognition means so much. And we have physicians and volunteers and teams, uh, a non acute care physicians, and it's folks like who work in hospice care and who uh, work in the, in the prison system in terms of healthcare and also provide dis innovative technologies. And so, that to see them get the recognition from peers. Uh, and we have an outside panel of judges that judges all our awards. And, you know, it's just amazing the kinds of people that make up our healthcare system. Fantastic. Always good to see you. Too, dear. And for more business journal news, go to our website, abcactionnews.com slash business.